One of the most frequently asked questions from both new clients and clients that have been around a while are, what's the difference between W-2 income and income where I will receive a 1099? This is usually asked when a person is considering a position where they are wanting to be a contractor or start to get self-employment income. When you work for an employee, an employer, and you're considered an employee, the employer is going to give you a W-2 at the end of the year. And that employer is also going to take out your federal income tax and Social Security and Medicare for the employee portion. But he is also going to match that. He's going to pay the employer's portion of the Social Security and Medicare. So another thing is that the, the uh, employer will provide you a place to work and will kind of tell you what the hours are and how he wants it done and what way to do it and what time to do it and the time frame when, the, when you're going to be finished with a task or, or project. So these are things that indicate you're an employee. A person who is self-employed, on the other hand, decides their own hours, decides how they're going to do the project or task, and they usually bring their own equipment or their own uh, supplies in order to do the job. Now, they, that person who is a self-employed person will be responsible for both the employee and the employer's portion of Social Security and Medicare. It is called self-employment tax, but it's the same thing. And the current rate is 13.3%, which, which is those added together that the self-employed person will pay. And that is in addition to paying the income tax due on the income that is received. There is something else though. The self-employed person is able to deduct expenses that are incurred in making that income, such as perhaps driving around, auto expense, maybe having a cell phone so that the employer or the so that the uh, person they're working for can contact them and other expenses like internet so that they can talk back and forth to the person they're working for. These expenses would be taken away before the taxes are applied to the revenue received. So if you're considering whether you're going to remain an employee with an employer or become your own employ employer as a self-employed person, please contact me and I can help explain your situation and help you decide what is best for you to do.